morning everybody uh, today's March 10th and uh, doing a quick update of our solar hot water project that we've got going here um, we just started it up um, and this is so it's kind of <laughs> kind of kind of ugly but you know what um, it's working so far um, we're gonna check the water temperature throughout the day and kind of see how things are doing it's a little a uh, little overcast today not too much so we still should get some good solar radiation in here um, what I did was uh, we went ahead and plumbed it up this pipe here is our outlet so the water goes out into the pipe circulates around and then comes back down this one here I'll get a I, I've got a video somewhere on my hard drive of what it actually looks like when we got it all together um, I didn't want the water spraying directly on the fish so we got an elbow on it here I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that water down to the bottom but right now I just kinda wanna see what sort of water temperature increase we're getting uh, when we started this, it was uh, 40. Uh, what was it? 46.3 degrees. It's already come up a little bit, but I don't know if that's as a result that's of. No, it's 50.1. Okay, so we'll have to see what it does throughout the day. Uh, it is getting warmer, and it's so maybe just that. Um, but we'll we'll see. Uh, there's a catfish down at the bottom there. I don't know if they're going to like the hot water or not, or if we're going to have baked catfish. But so we'll see. Um, Hopefully, I, I, I really want the bluegill to be happier with it. That's my main objective. And uh, if we can keep water temperature high enough, then we can uh, maybe get some tilapia or something like that. So we'll see. Thanks for watching.